Hello! Today I'll be attempting to suggest ways to buff Phoenix, Yoru, Iso and Neon, who are all in the D tier of Thinking Man's Valorant, a Valorant YouTuber who I have been following for some time now and respect a lot. Deadlock is also on the list but I already made a video discussing how to fix her and I recommend you to watch that video, link would be in the description. So Phoenix, Yoru, Iso and Neon, what do they share in common? A role. All of them are duelists, and to be more exact, shit duelists. Since the launch of the game, two duelists have been dominating the meta, Raze and Jet. It's really rare that one of our guys get any pro play. They're also very weak when it comes to casual play. But why is that? Well, that's pretty simple. All of them can't make space. All of them have a very hard time to make space for their team to enter onto site. Jet can dash into the site and raise Satchel in, while Yoru's entry method leaves him vulnerable, Neon's is too slow, and Aizo and Phoenix don't even have a way to enter site. Let's just give them a dash like Jet. No, shut up, that's stupid, you're stupid. We're gonna make them better without completely changing their identity. Starting with... Now, I have kind of an unorthodox idea for Phoenix, but hear me out here. What's the weakest part of his kit? His wall is, and it's not even close. I have two buff ideas for his wall. The first idea is to increase its length, because look at it, it's so short. And the second and more exciting one is to make it block bullets. Wait, before you call me crazy and click off the video, think about it. In the first ever cinematic trailer we got for Valorant back in 2020, Phoenix can be seen using his firewall to aggressively push Jet back. Like damn, look at this, it has some power. I think that making it either completely block bullets or at least block some of the damage could be a really great way to buff his wall without completely breaking it. Enemies and teammates could still walk through it and hear through it, so it's not as strong as Astra's Cosmic Divide where his sounds are heavily muffled or Sage's and Deadlock's wall and barrier where players cannot go through them. God damn it's raining. I think it's a good balance and could make Phoenix a way better agent at entering site and making space for his den. Okay, next up we have... Now, if I were to rank all of the agents we're buffing today, I would probably put Yoru as the best one out of the bunch. He sees constant pro and casual play, and yes, he isn't a great duelist, but I really think he's in the right spot right now in the meta. But no, 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 we're not here for that, we're here for buffs, baby! I also have two buff ideas for Yoru, but they aren't as odd as Phoenix's ones, because again, I genuinely believe he's in a good place right now. The first idea is to decrease or completely remove the gravity of his flash. See, currently the flash projectile is affected by gravity, so it doesn't land exactly where you aim it to, kind of like a hit scan weapon does. This could increase the distance that Yoru can play his flashes from, and possibly create more cool lineups. And the second idea is to give it toggleable bounces like Sova's darts where the player could decide if it has one bounce or two bounces. I know it's not very creative, but it sounds like it could be a lot of fun. Moving from Yoru, we have... Iso is the latest addition to the game, and right now, as writing this and recording, uh, it's the off-season, and we don't really know if he's really strong, so we'll have to see. I personally really like his kit, I think that he's got a lot of potential, but if I had to give him a buff, I also have two ideas for him. The first idea is to make his C ability contingency stop when the player taps the C button again, just like Harbor's. I know that doing that might make Harbor's kit a little less unique and more obsolete, but Iso's wall lasts way less and is smaller, while Harbor's main use is to act as a short viper wall. The second idea for a buff for Iso came to me when thinking about the criticism of his ultimate. Not many people think that it gives him enough advantage. Is Iso ultimate really an advantage? Logically, it seems like it's a yes, two walls versus one, but I played 100 games of ISO and barely came out on top while having, in my opinion, pretty good stats for someone playing in Radiant lobbies. Maybe letting him leave even if he lost the duel would make it better? Of course, the game still needs to punish the player for losing the 1v1, so maybe he loses his shield like Phoenix does or his ultimate, or it takes him more time to respawn the map, making him an easier target. I'm not really sure about these ideas, so please let me know in the comments if you have any other ideas. Okay, last but not least, here comes... 
Neon is a tricky one. I really like her current kit, and there isn't a lot of room to buff her in a creative way in my opinion. One way to buff her is to apply the same buff I suggested for Phoenix, and make her walls either completely block bullets or at least weaken them. Another way to buff her is giving her two dashes, that might make her more of a viable pick when wanting to enter a site. Overall, I don't really think most of the agents have a big issue, but I would like to see more variety when it comes to competitive play with duelists, in tier 1 especially. So, do you guys like my suggestions? Do you have any other ideas or tweaks? Please don't be shy and leave them in the comments below. And if you liked the video, I would really appreciate a like. Thanks and have a good day.